In today's video, we will be exploring the 12 common signs of diabetes on the skin, including how they are treated. Diabetes is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide, and it's crucial to understand the various ways it can manifest in our bodies. While most of us associate diabetes with blood sugar levels and insulin, did you know that it can also leave its mark on our skin? That's right, our skin can act as a window into our overall health, and recognizing these signs early on can make a world of difference. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. So, Without further ado, let's dive into the 12 common signs of diabetes that you might notice on your skin. 1. Excessive dryness. Excessive dryness is a common skin symptom associated with diabetes. When a person has diabetes, their body may have difficulty retaining moisture, resulting in dry and itchy skin. This occurs due to several factors related to the disease. Firstly, diabetes can affect the body's ability to produce and utilize insulin, a hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. When blood sugar levels are consistently high, it can lead to dehydration. Excessive sugar in the bloodstream draws water from the body's tissues, including the skin, which can result in dryness. Moreover, diabetes can cause damage to the nerves and blood vessels, a condition known as diabetic neuropathy and microvascular disease, respectively. These complications can impair the normal functioning of sweat glands and blood vessels in the skin. Sweating helps to moisturize the skin, and compromised sweat gland function can lead to reduced moisture retention, exacerbating dryness. Additionally, High blood sugar levels can contribute to increased urination, leading to fluid loss and further dehydration. The loss of fluids affects the body's overall hydration, including the skin, making it more prone to dryness. Furthermore, poor circulation is another common issue in diabetes. Reduced blood flow to the skin can hinder the delivery of essential nutrients and moisture to the skin cells exacerbating dryness and contributing to itchiness. To alleviate excessive dryness associated with diabetes, it is important to maintain good blood sugar control through proper diabetes management. This includes following a well-balanced diet, exercising regularly, taking prescribed medications, and monitoring blood sugar levels. Additionally, Practicing good skincare habits, such as using gentle moisturizers, avoiding harsh soaps or hot water, and staying hydrated by drinking an adequate amount of water, can help alleviate dryness and reduce itchiness. 2. Skin Infections People with diabetes have a higher susceptibility to skin infections compared to individuals without the condition. Skin infections and diabetes can be caused by bacteria or fungi and typically present as red, swollen, or painful areas on the skin. Diabetes weakens the immune system, impairing its ability to defend against harmful microorganisms effectively. The elevated levels of glucose in the blood provide a favorable environment for bacteria and fungi to thrive, further increasing the risk of infections. Bacterial skin infections that commonly affect individuals with diabetes include cellulitis, which is characterized by redness, warmth, swelling, and tenderness in the affected area. Diabetic foot infections are also a significant concern, as reduced blood circulation and nerve damage in the lower extremities make the feet vulnerable to injuries and subsequent infections. Fungal infections, such as canidiasis, yeast infection, and ringworm are also more prevalent in individuals with diabetes. These infections can affect various areas of the body, including the skin folds, feet, and nails. Symptoms may include redness, itching, a rash, like appearance, and in some cases, 
the formation of blisters or sores. It's important for individuals with diabetes to maintain good hygiene practices and promptly address any cuts, wounds, or skin breaks to minimize the risk of infections. Proper blood sugar management is crucial as elevated glucose levels can contribute to a weakened immune response. If a skin infection is suspected, it's recommended to seek medical attention. A healthcare professional can provide an accurate diagnosis and prescribe appropriate treatment, such as topical or oral medications, to control the infection. Additionally, they may provide guidance on preventive measures to reduce the risk of future infections. By staying vigilant and promptly addressing any signs of skin infections, individuals with diabetes can take proactive steps to protect their skin health and overall well-being. 3. Slow healing. Slow healing of wounds, cuts, and sores is a common issue among people with diabetes. Compared to individuals without diabetes, those with the condition often experience delayed healing, which can increase the risk of infections. Several factors contribute to the impaired wound healing observed in diabetes. One key factor is high blood sugar levels, which can negatively affect various aspects of the healing process. Elevated glucose levels can restrict blood flow and impair the delivery of oxygen and essential nutrients to the site of the wound. This inadequate blood supply hampers the formation of new blood vessels, a process known as angiogenesis, which is crucial for proper wound healing. Furthermore, diabetes can cause damage to the nerves, a condition called diabetic neuropathy. Nerve damage can lead to reduced sensation, particularly in the extremities such as the feet. As a result, individuals with diabetes may not be aware of minor injuries or pressure points, allowing wounds to go unnoticed and untreated for longer periods. Delayed wound care can hinder the healing process and increase the risk of infection. Additionally, diabetes can weaken the immune system making it less efficient in combatant bacteria and other pathogens. Infections can delay wound healing even further and contribute to complications such as cellulitis or abscess formation. To promote optimal wound healing and reduce the risk of infections, it is crucial for individuals with diabetes to practice proper wound care. This includes cleaning the wound with mild soap and water applying an appropriate dressing, and keeping the area protected and dry. Regular monitoring of wounds is important to identify any signs of infection, such as increased redness, swelling, warmth, or the presence of pus, and seeking medical attention promptly if necessary. Managing blood sugar levels within the target range is also essential for improving wound healing in diabetes. Proper diabetes management, including medication adherence, a balanced diet, regular exercise, and routine medical checkups can help control blood sugar levels and support the healing process. 4. Darkened skin patches. Darkened skin patches, a common skin condition called acanthosis nigricans, can be observed in individuals with diabetes. The exact cause of acanthosis nigricans is not fully understood, but it is often associated with insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to insulin. Insulin resistance can lead to elevated insulin levels in the bloodstream, which may stimulate the growth of skin cells and increase the production of melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color. As a result, the affected skin areas become darker and thicker than the surrounding skin. Acanthosis nigricans is commonly found in body areas, such as the neck, armpits, groin, and skin folds. In some cases, it can also affect the palms of the hands, soles of the feet, or other areas. The patches of darkened skin may have a velvety or rough texture 
and can sometimes be accompanied by itching or a mild odor. While Acanthosis nigricans is not exclusive to diabetes, it is often associated with insulin resistance, which is a common feature of type 2 diabetes. However, it can also occur in individuals with other underlying conditions or as a result of certain medications, hormonal imbalances, or genetic factors. Managing the underlying condition, such as improving insulin sensitivity through lifestyle modifications example, adopting a healthy diet, regular exercise, weight management, it is important to note that acanthosis nigricans itself is a benign condition but it can serve as an indicator of underlying health issues, including diabetes. Therefore, it is essential to address any concerning skin changes with a healthcare professional to ensure appropriate diagnosis, treatment, and management. 5. Itchy skin. Itchy skin, medically referred to as pruritus, is a common symptom experienced by individuals with diabetes. Diabetes, related itching can be caused by various factors, including poor circulation and yeast infections. Poor circulation is a common complication of diabetes that can contribute to itchy skin. High blood sugar levels and the associated damage to blood vessels can impair blood flow, particularly to the extremities such as the legs and feet. Reduced blood circulation can lead to dry skin, which can cause itching. Additionally, inadequate blood flow may limit the delivery of essential nutrients and oxygen to the skin, further exacerbating itchiness. Yeast infections, specifically candidiasis, are another potential cause of itchy skin in individuals with diabetes. Yeast thrives in warm and moist environments, and the excess glucose present in the bloodstream provides an ideal breeding ground for yeast growth. Common areas affected by yeast infections in individuals with diabetes include the skin folds, such as the armpits, groin, and areas beneath the breasts. The overgrowth of yeast can cause redness, itching, and a rash, like appearance. It's important to note that itching can also be a side effect of certain medications or a symptom of other underlying conditions. Therefore, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the exact cause of the itching and receive appropriate treatment. Managing blood sugar levels within the target range is essential for minimizing itching related to diabetes. Proper diabetes management including medication adherence, a balanced diet, regular exercise, and routine medical checkups can help control blood sugar levels and reduce the frequency and severity of itching. In addition to managing blood sugar, there are several strategies individuals with diabetes can employ to alleviate itching. These include keeping the skin moisturized by using gentle fragrance, free moisturizers, avoiding hot showers or baths that can strip the skin of natural oils, using mild, non-irritating soaps or cleansers when bathing, wearing loose-fitting clothing made from breathable fabrics, avoiding scratching the itchy areas, as it can lead to further irritation and potential infection, seeking medical treatment for yeast infections or other underlying skin conditions. By effectively managing blood sugar levels, practicing good skin care habits, and addressing any underlying causes or infections, individuals with diabetes can find relief from itching and maintain healthier skin. 6. Skin discoloration. Skin discoloration is a common occurrence in individuals with diabetes characterized by changes in skin pigmentation. These changes can manifest as lighter or darker patches of skin and are often attributed to the effects of diabetes. In diabetes, skin discoloration can arise due to various factors, including hyperpigmentation. Some individuals with diabetes may experience areas of darker skin compared to the surrounding skin. 
This is known as hyperpigmentation and is primarily attributed to the increased production of melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color. Elevated blood sugar levels and insulin resistance can contribute to this excess melanin production, leading to patches of darkened skin, lipopigmentation. Conversely, diabetes can also cause areas of lighter or depigmented skin. This is known as hypopigmentation. The exact mechanisms behind hypopigmentation in diabetes are not fully understood, but it is believed to be associated with factors such as impaired circulation and reduced melanin production. Acanthosis nigricans. As mentioned previously, acanthosis nigricans is a skin condition characterized by darkened, thickened patches of skin. It typically appears in body folds and creases and is commonly associated with insulin resistance. Acanthosis nigricans can lead to skin discoloration, particularly in the affected areas. It's important to note that skin discoloration can also be influenced by other factors unrelated to diabetes, such as sun exposure, aging, hormonal changes. While skin discoloration itself may not pose a significant health risk, it can be a visible sign of an underlying condition or indicate the need for better diabetes management. Monitoring blood sugar levels, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and adhering to prescribed treatments can help manage diabetes and potentially improve skin discoloration over time. If you notice any changes in skin pigmentation, or have concerns about skin discoloration associated with diabetes, it is recommended to seek medical advice for a proper diagnosis and guidance on appropriate management strategies. 7. Skin Tags Skin tags are small, soft growths that can develop on the skin, particularly in areas where there is friction or rubbing between skin surfaces. These growths are benign and typically pose no medical concern. Skin tags are commonly observed in individuals with diabetes, although they can occur in people without the condition as well. Skin tags are small, flesh, colored or slightly darker, and usually hang off the skin on a thin stalk or stem. They can vary in size, ranging from a few millimeters to a few centimeters in diameter. Skin tags often appear in regions where skin folds or creases, such as the neck, armpits, groin, eyelids, and under the breasts. The exact cause of skin tags is not fully understood, but they are believed to be related to friction and pressure on the skin. When skin surfaces rub against each other or against clothing, it can create an environment where skin tags are more likely to develop. This is why areas where skin constantly rubs against skin are commonly affected. While skin tags are generally harmless, they can sometimes cause discomfort or irritation if they get caught on clothing or jewelry or become inflamed. In such cases, medical intervention may be required to remove or treat the skin tags. Treatment for skin tags is usually not necessary unless they cause physical discomfort or cosmetic concerns. However, if removal is desired or required, various methods can be employed, such as surgical excision, cretotherapy, freezing, or cauterization. In summary, skin tags are small, soft growths that commonly occur in areas where skin rubs against skin. While they are generally harmless, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and guidance, especially if you have concerns about the appearance or discomfort associated with skin tags. 8. Diabetic Dermopathy Diabetic dermopathy is a skin condition that often affects individuals with diabetes. It is characterized by the presence of light brown, scaly patches, typically found on the front of the legs. The condition is believed to be caused by changes in the blood vessels associated with diabetes. The exact cause of diabetic dermopathy 
is not fully understood. However, it is thought to be related to the effects of diabetes on the small blood vessels, capillaries, that supply the skin with oxygen and nutrients. Diabetes can lead to damage and narrowing of these blood vessels, resulting in reduced blood flow to the skin. The diminished blood flow to the affected areas can result in the formation of light brown patches known as diabetic dermopathy. These patches may be round or oval and are often slightly raised and scaly in texture. They are commonly found on the shins or lower legs and tend to occur bilaterally, affecting both legs. The patches of diabetic dermopathy are typically painless and do not cause itching or other symptoms. They may gradually fade or disappear over time without any specific treatment. However, it's important to note that the skin changes associated with diabetic dermopathy are permanent and new patches may develop in the future. While diabetic dermopathy itself is harmless and does not require medical intervention, it serves as an indicator of underlying diabetes and potential blood vessel damage. Managing diabetes effectively by controlling blood sugar levels, following a healthy lifestyle, and adhering to prescribed medications can help minimize the risk of developing or worsening diabetic dermopathy. In summary, diabetic dermopathy is a skin condition characterized by light brown, scaly patches that typically appear on the front of the legs. The condition is thought to be caused by changes in the skin's blood vessels associated with diabetes. While diabetic dermopathy itself is harmless, it can serve as a reminder of the importance of managing diabetes and seeking regular medical care. 9. Necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum Necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum is a skin condition that primarily affects individuals with diabetes. It is characterized by the presence of small, raised patches on the skin, typically appearing as yellowish, brown lesions with a shiny or waxy appearance. Necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum is most commonly found on the lower legs. The exact cause of necrobiosis lipoica diabeticorum is not well understood. However, it is believed to be associated with changes in blood vessels and inflammation in individuals with diabetes. The condition is more prevalent among individuals with long-standing diabetes, particularly those who have difficulty managing their blood sugar levels. The patches associated with necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum may start as small red or pink spots that gradually develop into larger, well-defined plaques. Over time, these plaques can become raised and take on a yellowish, brown color. The affected skin may have a shiny or glossy appearance, and the texture may be firm or hard. In some cases, the lesions of necrobiosis lipodiapeti diabeticorum can develop open sores or ulcers, which can be prone to infection and slow to heal. Therefore, it is important to monitor these areas closely and seek medical attention if any signs of infection, such as increased redness, warmth, swelling, or drainage are observed. Although necrobiosis Lipoidica diabeticorum itself is not harmful. It can be cosmetically bothersome and may cause discomfort or complications if left untreated. Proper diabetes management, including controlling blood sugar levels within the target range, is crucial for managing necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum and preventing its progression. In summary, necrobiosis Lipoidica diabeticorum is a skin condition characterized by small, raised patches with a shiny, yellowish-brown appearance, typically found on the lower leg. While the exact cause is unknown, it is believed to be associated with changes in blood vessels and inflammation in individuals with diabetes. 10. Diabetic Blisters Diabetic Blisters 
also known as Bullosis diabeticorum, are a rare but distinctive skin manifestation that can occur in individuals with diabetes. These blisters typically appear on the hands, feet, legs, or forearms. The exact cause of diabetic blisters is not fully understood. However, it is believed to be associated with diabetic neuropathy, a condition characterized by nerve damage due to high blood sugar levels over an extended period. Nerve damage can affect the sensation and perception of pain in affected areas. Unlike traditional blisters that result from friction or burns, diabetic blisters can develop spontaneously without an obvious cause or injury to the skin. They tend to be large, fluid-filled blisters that are painless and may have a clear or dark appearance. These blisters can persist for several weeks before healing on their own without leaving any scars. It's important to note that diabetic blisters are relatively uncommon, and not all individuals with diabetes will experience them. The condition is more commonly observed in older individuals who have long-standing diabetes and poor blood sugar control. Additionally, certain risk factors, such as diabetic neuropathy, diabetic foot ulcers, or kidney disease, may increase the likelihood of developing diabetic blisters. The primary treatment for diabetic blisters involves proper wound care and prevention of infection. It is crucial to keep the blisters clean and protected to minimize the risk of infection. Avoiding unnecessary pressure or friction on the affected areas is also important to prevent the blisters from bursting or worsening. In summary, diabetic blisters, also known as Bullosis diabeticorum, are a rare skin condition that can occur in individuals with diabetes. These blisters, which tend to be large, fluid, filled, and painless, typically appear on the hands, feet, legs, or forearms. Prompt medical attention and appropriate wound care are essential to manage diabetic blisters and prevent complications. 11. Eruptive Exanthematosis Eruptive exanthematosis is a skin condition that can occur in individuals with high blood sugar levels, often associated with poorly controlled diabetes. It is characterized by the development of small, yellowish bumps with red borders on the skin, typically found on the buttocks, arms, or legs. The underlying cause of eruptive xanthomatosis is the buildup of fat deposits beneath the skin. In individuals with diabetes, especially when blood sugar levels are elevated, the body's ability to process fats can be impaired This can lead to an increase in circulating triglycerides, a type of fat, in the blood. The excess triglycerides can accumulate in certain areas of the body, resulting in the formation of small, raised bumps known as xanthomas. These xanthomas are typically yellowish in color and have a slightly firm or waxy texture. They are often surrounded by a red border. Eruptive exanthomatosis tends to occur suddenly and can be accompanied by other symptoms such as itching or tenderness. The bumps may be scattered across the skin and appear in clusters. They can resolve on their own over a period of weeks to months once blood sugar levels are adequately controlled. The presence of eruptive exanthomatosis is considered a sign of poorly controlled diabetes and can be a warning sign of underlying metabolic issues. It is important to seek medical attention if you notice the characteristic bumps associated with eruptive exanthematosis, as it may indicate the need for adjustments in diabetes management and treatment. To manage eruptive exanthematosis, it is crucial to focus on controlling blood sugar levels through lifestyle modifications medications, and adherence to a diabetic diet. Improving blood sugar control can help reduce the buildup of fats in the blood and prevent the formation of xanthomas. In summary, eruptive xanthomatosis is a skin condition characterized by the development of small, 
yellowish bumps with red borders on the skin. It is associated with high blood sugar levels and can occur in individuals with poorly controlled diabetes. Proper diabetes management, including blood sugar control, is key to managing eruptive exanthematosis and preventing its recurrence. Seeking medical advice is important to address any underlying metabolic issues and receive appropriate treatment. 12. Digital Sclerosis Digital sclerosis is a skin condition that can occur as a result of diabetes, related changes in blood vessels. It is characterized by the thickening, tightening, and waxy appearance of the skin on the fingers, hands, or twos. The exact cause of digital sclerosis is not fully understood, but it is believed to be associated with the effects of diabetes on the small blood vessels, capillaries that supply the skin with oxygen and nutrients. Over time, high blood sugar levels and other factors related to diabetes can lead to damage and narrowing of these blood vessels. The diminished blood flow to the affected areas can result in changes in the skin, including thickening and tightening. The skin may become firm, hardened, and appear shiny or waxy. It can also lose its normal elasticity and flexibility. Digital sclerosis tends to affect multiple fingers, hands, or toes symmetrically. The condition can progress slowly over time and may cause discomfort or stiffness in the affected areas. In some cases, it can also limit the range of motion or dexterity of the fingers or toes. While digital sclerosis itself is not harmful, it serves as an indicator of underlying diabetes and potential blood vessel damage. Managing diabetes effectively by controlling blood sugar levels, following a healthy lifestyle, and adhering to prescribed medications can help minimize the risk of developing or worsening digital sclerosis. If you notice changes in the skin on your fingers, hands, or toes, such as thickening, tightening, or a waxy appearance, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for a proper evaluation. They can assess the skin condition, confirm the diagnosis, and provide guidance on appropriate diabetes management and skin care. Treatment for digital sclerosis primarily focuses on managing the underlying diabetes and improving blood circulation. This may involve lifestyle modifications, such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, and proper foot care. In some cases, medications or interventions to improve blood flow to the affected areas may be recommended. In summary, digital sclerosis is a skin condition characterized by thick, tight, and waxy skin on the fingers, hands, or toes. It is associated with diabetes, related changes in blood vessels, effective diabetes management and medical supervision are essential for managing this condition and minimizing potential complications. Seeking regular medical care and following recommended treatment strategies can help maintain skin health and overall well belling Summary. In this video, we discuss the 12 common signs of diabetes on the skin. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects many people worldwide, and it can have various effects on the skin. By being aware of these signs, you can recognize potential skin-related complications associated with diabetes and take appropriate action. We covered a range of skin symptoms that may indicate diabetes or poor blood sugar control. These signs include excessive dryness, skin infections, slow healing of wounds and sores, darkened skin patches called acanthosis nigricans, itchy skin known as pruritus, skin discoloration, the development of skin tags, diabetic dermopathy, necrobiosis, lipodica diabetic bettercor, eruptive xanthomatosis, and digital sclerosis. Remember, these signs can vary in severity and may not appear in everyone with diabetes. However, paying attention to changes in your skin 
can provide valuable insights into your overall health and help you take necessary precautions. If you experience any of these signs, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and guidance. They can provide a comprehensive assessment and recommend appropriate treatments or lifestyle adjustments to manage your diabetes and maintain skin health. By staying vigilant and proactive, you can prevent or minimize complications associated with diabetes and ensure your well-being. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it with others who may benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on diabetes, health, and wellness. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable resources in the future. Thank you for watching, and remember to prioritize your health and take care of your skin. Ok.